it is uh, Monday morning and I'm going to the doctors so uh, this is going to be the first of a vlog there's going to be lots of them and uh, the format on this will be different from the other videos because I will just make it sh kind of short-ish and do easy fast cut uh, the idea is to make like one every sometimes every day if there's something interesting sometimes every two or three days and sometimes maybe not for a week if I'm busy with some other videos uh, but yes, I mentioned I have to go to the doctors because I have um, a little condition. I think it's called ab abscess or something. It's it's a um, a variant of acne <laughs> in my nose, sir. It's freaking huge. Let me just use all the pilot. Hang on. All the pilot doesn't work. Okay, there. Okay. Oh, I'll show you here. It's been like this since Friday afternoon. Oh. And it hurts so much. Like, well, it started on Friday, and uh, today is Monday, so it just gradually, like, grew, and and there's some kind of liquid in there. Uh, so there's some pressure. So ever since pretty much Saturday, so for the last three days, it's been like painful. And yesterday, since yesterday, I had to use some painkiller. It's, it's called ebux. Uh, there's like a 200 milligram version and a 400 milligram. So now I just took a 400 milligram, but if I take 200, it's okay. 400 milligram is like, oh, I'm in heaven. Oh, yeah. So um, I have to go to the doctor, see what they can do, whether I should do something. I also read about it that you know, it's can't, it can't be bad. They have to. Um, but you should not like squeeze it because you can get bacteria, especially in the nose area, face area. You can get bacteria in your brain and then I might die. I'm just kidding. But uh, it can be bad, I guess. So yes, uh, the vlog will have like more like Tesla Bjorn stuff, but it will also, I will of course also include Tesla stuff, not only like Dolly or my nose or some other stuff, but uh, you know, it seems like there was a like a gap in my videos because you always have these tech videos, the road trip videos, some races, uh, some other random stuff. But it seems like you know there was a lack in like the, the update. What's up? Where are you going? Uh, a wife is on vacation. You have a dog, or you know, uh, we are going on vacation or whatever. So yeah, this is gonna be like that. So um. Uh, long speech in the beginning, yes. Um, so actually, next Monday, in one week, Amber's parents are coming to Norway. <laughs> and then I'm gonna take them around Norway. Uh, and also we will do a Europe trip. Uh, so they will be here for one and a half months. So yes, we will take good care of them. And um, I'm actually thinking about taking um, a trip with a caravan. <laughs> Uh, from Oslo via Geirangel, um, Trollstigen, yeah, you've seen the trip before, um, yeah, uh, so four people, then we don't need too big of a trailer, but uh, still it's going to be a little bit challenging <laughs> driving around uh, Geirangel and stuff, and kind of cramped space, <coughs> oh shit, wait, okay there, Okay, so I can I can park for free. Well, I'm getting I'm running kind of out of time here. What? Uh, I need to get the ticket. Uh, it's somewhere here. Yeah, there's almost no cars. So I just roam freely. Okay, there there's the the machine. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, I'm just gonna quickly do this. Be right back. All right. Yes, this is good. I can park here for two hours for free. I think they shouldn't take too long. I mean, I have an appointment with the doctor. Uh, let's see, should I park? Should I parallel park here? Oh, it's gonna tight. Uh, you know what? No, no, no. This, this Toyota park bad. Okay, I can park under there, I guess. Okay, see, I could park here, but that place is like freaking bomb the bird shit and I just washed the car yesterday oh man was this glass no it just leaves 
Okay, there you go. I hope the birds are not active at this time of the day. Oh, yeah. Whoa, 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 don't do this. Don't bother my car. Okay, be right back. Yeah, so um, we have to go here. It's called Aluna Lag Center or something. And uh, I have an appointment right now, so I have to hurry. This is the first time I go to this doctor. Uh, where is it? It's over here somewhere. Okay, um, I'm done now. The doctor, they took some blood samples. They actually had to puncture my finger two times and they found out that the infection level wasn't too high. That's good. Uh, it could just be a very big acne, you know, uh, not uh, whatever it was, an abscess or something. Uh, but uh, I'm supposed to get some kind of cream or something to put here. So hopefully that will make it disappear faster. But the infection level on Optimus Prime might be that bad. Let's see. What? Oh, shit, what the? I stayed here for less than one hour. Seriously. What the heck? What? How is this possible? I just washed the car yesterday, dude. What's this? Schmutz. Okay, that's a schmutz. But we have shit on the front windscreen already. What? What the heck? Look at this. Oh, okay, okay, you know what? When I get home, I'll just rinse it. I think it's not too bad. Just get the heck out of here before I get even more bomb. You see, maybe maybe I should just... Uh, oh, yeah, you know what? Uh, let's let's summon the car. Yes, yes. I uh, have to open the app. So it's kind of slow because in Europe, we cannot summon the car from uh, the key fob. So uh, I had to go to summon here. We had to stay kind of close to the car. So it will detect it forward. Come on. Get out of here! Get out of the shit! Oh, I can hear the birds! No! Get out of here! Go, 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 I think if I move too far, it will just stop. Okay, I think here it's safe now. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see, how far will it actually go? Will it bump into the other car? That's enough, Optimus Prime! Optimus! Stop! Okay, okay, yes. No, 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 don't go for it! Dead man switch. <laughs> no, I mean, it will stop eventually. It's not gonna bump into the other car. Yeah, now if it would be nice if I can, you know, command the car to open the doors for me. But unfortunately, you cannot do that unless you have auto presenting door. Uh, yeah, so double click won't open the door. But let's get the heck out of here. Okay, we are at Hoguru Center, uh, so I had to take another ticket for the car, uh, for parking ticket, yeah, it's free for the first hour or something, yeah. but let's see, so what you have to do is place it there, okay, so it's visible, and uh, man, this prime is so shiny, it's because of DTEC treatment, yeah, ceramic treatment, but I have to pick up some medicine over here, so, uh, before I used to go to this, uh, uh, there is also a, a doctor over here. Maybe I'll go back to that one because it's more convenient because you have uh, the drugstore here. Yeah, all right, let's see. Okay, that's it. I need this medicine that I have to take once in the morning and once in the evening. It's some kind of, I don't know, something you put in there. And I asked, do I have to use like this cotton bud? cutting thing in to put in this. You can just use your finger. No, I cannot use my finger because if I, if I, even if I try my little finger. Ow, oh. Oh, this is life with Tesla Bjorn. And uh, now I have to quickly go home because um, uh, there's a guy who will uh, receive one of my Nimba tasks. He will actually come to my home. That's a little bit unusual. Usually I I deliver to them. But I'm gonna show you another nice feature. No hands, right? Oh yeah, door closes itself. Oh, that's Molex. Okay, we are home now. Uh, this is, uh, of course, not optimal because uh, we just washed the car yesterday. It's nice and clean and dry. Uh, and then we have to apply some moisture. But anyway, here is the pressure washer thingy. It's uh, nothing, nothing fancy. 
is this something my neighbor bought a long time ago and it actually works so i'm like okay well if i like it i might buy a more expensive one but it will do its job so yeah let's see yeah, I have to wash away i have to wash away all that uh, bird poop it, it's some somewhat acidic so you don't want it to stick too long uh, yeah it's gonna, it's gonna pressure it like this clean it i might have to rub it it didn't stay too long, so maybe just let it stay, I'm gonna let it soak. But you know, I don't, I don't want to use too much water, so actually I avoided water on uh, most of the car. Yeah, I don't know, it seems to be kind of gone, but uh, not completely. Let's try to hammer it once more. important to remove it as fast as possible. The longer you let it stay, the more damage it will do and the harder it will be to remove. So yes, it seems to be gone now. Like this. Yes, yes, okay, that's good. And this is actually pretty cool, you see? The water droplets, they look kind of like red, orange is, And this is because of the coating on this part of the windscreen, which will uh, reflect the heat. Yeah. So, uh, yes, order has been uh, restored in Optimus Prime. So, um, and by the way, oh, let, me, let me just switch this off first. Uh, yeah, so you see, here are the new garages. Oh, they are freaking huge. Uh, six meter long and, uh, what is it again, 220 wide or something, or 230. Uh, so Optimus Prime will have this garage with electric uh, uh, garage door and uh, charging inside but only 20 amp but that's okay yeah 20 amp still works i wish i had more but i guess in case i need faster i can just fast charge at the footman really nearby here like 20 wait 200 meters from here so uh the charges are getting done it's gonna be interesting to see how it works like do i dare to open the falcon windows inside here uh, Probably not. I would probably just open it outside and then uh, Yeah, <laughs> because we see it's so close to our home So there's really no need to open the back there in the garage. We can just do it outside the house or somewhere else uh, Yeah, we are lucky that way <laughs> But uh, oh, let me show you something here Look here, look here. Oh shit, you see the first cut is the deepest and this one is pretty deep Oh, I don't know if he can be buffed out or something, but oh, you know what? Well, I'm not sure, but I asked um, a pit stop build player and they said what well, they could probably try to like, I don't know, maybe at least cover it up or something to polish it so it doesn't, it doesn't become that visible. But right now it is kind of visible. I'm not sure what happened, how many drinks I had when I made it, but... Um, yeah, it's probably permanent. And also I saw something over here. I don't know what the heck could that happen here? This is like a, I don't know, from trees or something or? Well, uh, yes, I mean, I used the car a lot, so eventually you know, there will be scratches on the car. But at least the front is protected with Lumar. You see here? It's a protective film, blank, uh, like a blank film. So that helps. I consider covering the rest of the car also in that film because it's freaking amazing. Yeah. Alright, so it's been a couple of hours. I stayed home and did some videos uh, that will come out later. And um, also now we are headed for Drebak. It's about one hour drive from here. Uh, the trailer is completely empty, so I, I figured out okay, I can take a, a pure Nimber task. Yeah, just for, uh, for fun and also for the money. Uh, so, well, yeah, the traffic is not too bad now. It's six in the afternoon. So, yeah, it's not very often that my trailer is completely empty. I mean, I would actually prefer to have two trailers, maybe one big and one small one on, or an equal one. But, you know, I get this question a lot, like, why don't, Bjorn, why don't you get a more uh, aerodynamic trailer? Well, I would get a more aerodynamic trailer, but the problem is that my trailer is perfect for the job. It has these rails 
where you can you know seamlessly put all the hoops and you can secure the load and it's actually very important to secure the load properly and the, all the other trailers I've looked at they don't offer that that um, feature and that one is most important and actually this one is not too bad in summer now I'm getting like 300 average 300 330 something average and it's pretty good so it, it seems like um, studded tires and some of the other stuff you know, kind of ruin the consumption but I will try to get you know, even good consumption winter but I can actually live with this yeah so anyway uh, Drebak here we come We are now in Menu in Xi and I uh, just parked my car here. Uh, I, there's a little problem, not with the car, with me. Because um, it's been like four or five hours since I took the previous painkiller and it's starting to hurt again. And I didn't bring, I forgot about it. So we just have to go to Menu because I'm actually running out of pills at home. So we're gonna grab some, um, some pills, something to drink, and then off we go again. Okay. I got my ebooks painkiller. It's ibuprofen something. Yeah, 200 milligram. I guess that will help. 400 will be better, but yeah. And yes, uh, some of you guys might be saying, yeah, but you know, you shouldn't use, you shouldn't drink apple juice with this. I'm like, oh, whatever. I guess it will work, right? I'm not gonna die, right? And then I'm not sure if I should eat it. I mean, take it without an empty stomach. So I just bought a big banana. It's like freaking huge, man. Yeah, okay, let's go. Okay, so we have loaded one big it's like one big closet in here, it's been wrapped and protected. Yes. And then we have some other furniture, this is like old, probably handmade. Yeah, that one, and the last one is just a table, like a like a foldable table or something. So yeah, this is pretty easy, just gonna put it in here, as I said. I uh, have nothing else in here, so this will be pretty easy to pack. Oh yeah. All right, we are done loading the cargo. It took like, uh, actually almost half an hour, but this time I only had one task and I didn't want to rush it. So let's see, I, well, I was told I could turn around somewhere. Well, let's just turn around here. Let's make it a challenge because it's like somewhat tight space, but I need to practice my backup skills, which actually has improved quite a lot. So much that, uh, you know, my, the backup camera, well, the, the cord to the back of camera is kind of kind of broke recently. I don't know why, what the heck happened. Maybe too much stretch. stretch. Uh, so I haven't bothered fixing it. And most of the time I can just back up the trailer just fine. Like do a three point turn like this with the trailer is not too much of a hassle. Yeah, so now I'm gonna go back to Oslo, deliver this and go back home. Okay, we are now at the delivery point and the receiver is not home. He's downtown or something and he gave me instructions on how to open the garage. So this is again one of those uh, episodes where I just lurk around in the evening. Well, it's not dark, but at least I'm going to deliver all that stuff to him.
guess we are now done with the nimble task. Yeah, that was actually it was faster to unload than to load because when you load, you have to strap in everything, you have to put things nice and tidy. When you unload, it's just uh, 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 done. Yeah. <laughs> so yes, now I'm gonna head home, uh, unhitch the trailer, and then um, pick up wifey. And I think we're gonna go grocery store. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna go to Rema 1000. That's uh, one of our favorite places. It's Nrema, where they have most grocery stores we need, and groceries. Uh, and also, um, we use menu, which is close to us. Menu, yeah. So, but they have a bigger, like, a bigger store, bigger menu, pretty much. Uh, so sometimes we need some extra stuff that uh, Rema, Tusen, Rema 1000 doesn't have. Tusen means 1000. So yes, let's head back home. Uh, uh, 210, uh, shit, can I make it? Uh, I'm not sure if my trailer is too high or not, so... Oh, it seems tight! Uh, you know what, let's, let's go out and check. Uh, okay, 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 because I might have a little problem here. Let's see, maybe I have to go back like the, the wrong way. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Well, you know what, I think I... I think I overestimated my size. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. I mean, my trailer is slightly taller than the Model X, and the Model X is like 170, 180 something. So, yes, yes, well, you know. <laughs> you know what to say, men and sizes. <laughs> but anyway, uh, here I am parked, uh, Tesla Baron style. I take up one, two, three, four spots. Yeah, I could uh, try to take out five, but uh, four is enough. Uh, so I'm at Toys R Us because I need to check out something. You know, uh, nowadays I'm reviewing the, um, uh, the Tesla radio flyer toy car. And it's okay, but you know, I need to check out some of the other cars on the market, like the BMW and whatever. Land Rover or whatever, and it seems like the other cars, they cost about half as the radio flyer and they have somewhat the same spec and they actually might have some better features than the radio flyer. So before I give it you know, the radio flyer uh, review, I have to check out the other cars too. So they're about to close in 15 minutes, but we're just going to take a quick look. This is, this is freaking toy land, man. Look here. Sales, 70%. Oh, wow. 40%. Lots of toys, so we just try to locate the toy car. Yeah, that's a bicycle. I'm not wow, so much toys here. Can I see? Where can it be? It must be like for big boys. Well, big ish from three to three to nine, three to eight years or something. Okay, so I found one car, but this looks very toy-ish. And I don't even think this is electric. Maybe it is, but this one seems way too cheap. How much does it cost? 1,000, wow, 2,000 nook for this thing? Okay, then yes, get one of the other cars, but uh, we're not looking for this one. All right, I found the cars. So we have a Mini Cooper S. Uh, it costs 2,400, but this is really toy. Six volt battery, like, I don't know what kind of battery. It's probably not lithium. Uh, Tesla uses lithium battery. Uh, 2.7 kilometers per hour only. That is super slow. Tesla can do over nine kilometers per hour. Uh, so this seems to be really toy-ish. Beetle, 2,000 Nook. Um, similar spec, goes very slow, I mean the, the maximum is the same as Tesla, pretty much Tesla can support up to 37 kilos, but 2.7 kilometers per hour, are you kidding me? And this is like a Range Rover or something, but it looks very toyish, it doesn't look like a Range Rover, and all these uh, toy cars, they have plastic wheels. So uh, maybe I have a little bit too much uh, expectation because I was expecting, like, I don't know, uh, 
rubber wheels and even the even this one the Ferrari has just yeah really cheap um, wheels ti tires if you would call them tires and also the Ferrari looks very cheap unfortunately uh, I think the only one that had okay wheels are these which is kind of like somewhat air filled plastic ish wheels uh, so actually the other cars the John Deere over there that's a 12 volt 2 speed and reverse and that one cost 4,000 no cost 5,000 look whoa but I still haven't seen the BMW because I think the BMW is supposed to be okay and the Mercedes but these ones are not that great so actually this could mean that the Tesla toy car Okay, it's kind of expensive compared to these, but they also you get more for the money. It looks freaking amazing. It goes fast, almost a little bit too fast because of the high speed. It's like <clears throat> instant torque. <clears throat> yeah, but okay, I'm done here. I'm getting like an impression of how it looks like. So let's get the heck out of here before I need another painkiller. Yeah. Outside of Rema, and look what I just found. <laughs> it's a Tesla Roadster. It seems like it's kind of early, yeah, the EL number, but look how much bigger the Model X is. <laughs> the Roadster roof is like, okay, if you come on this side, you see, uh, so the, the roof is like <laughs> barely above the, the window of the Model X. Wow, yeah. This is like a, a two-seater sports car. Well, it's based on the Lotus Elise. So pretty cool. Interior, very tight, small in there, but you know, this is a proper sports car. Yeah, it sticks in the corners. And oh, you know what? I wonder if this one has the upgrade because you see here, I think this is actually real carbon fiber. I wonder if this is like the, the Roadster 2.0, I mean, the Roadster 3.0. Ooh, now I have to sniff it. What what kind of stuff is this? Uh, oh, it's says Sport. It says Roadster Sport. But I believe if you have the, the upgrade, there will be some kind of, um, I don't know, maybe a new badge or something. Does it actually have a backup camera? Wow, cool. But anyway, we're going to go grocery store. Grocery shopping at the grocery store, Rema 1000. So, yes, I think wife is already inside. Okay, where the heck did wife go? No? Oh, Nina? Here we're gonna, we're gonna use this, uh, this uh, cart instead. Come on, mate, I'm hanging. We want the fruits. Oh yeah, oh yeah. We're going for uh, bananas and uh, melon. Let's see. I think we need some bread and we need. Uh, uh, hmm. What else we need? But well, all the other stuff is kind of. Uh, I actually love these. Ooh, these are. Nice. Oops, oops. What the heck? I'm a noob. I think I'm gonna go for one of these grapes here. Yeah, this is good stuff. Well, uh, what is gonna get pissed if I do this? Let's do this. <laughs> Don't have to sleep on the couch tonight. Yeah, alright. Right, we are finally back home. Optimus Prime is charging. Yeah, I think this is it for the day. Some driving, some stuff, some nimbering, some shopping, some yeah, self care. Say, now I'm gonna take another pill soon and uh, apply some medicine to this. So, ooh, <sighs> yeah. So. Um, that's it for now then. So this is, yes, the first uh, vlog. Uh, I will see how many I make a week. Maybe not every day, maybe every two, three days or something, like I mentioned in the beginning. And also the music here, yeah, you probably heard it before. It will just be 
uh, stuff I have used before because the whole point of this vlog is that I, I don't want to waste too much time making it but still have some interesting new content and of course the news today nowadays is Mal 3 is coming yeah it's all over I was about to say all over the news all over uh, at least uh, uh, the, the social media. So yes, um, they will start producing the SN1, the number one mass-produced um, Model 3. So yes, that's gonna be awesome. But will I go to US? No. Unfortunately, I won't be there for the f like the the party of the first 30 deliveries because I didn't make it on the previous round to get. Uh, the invitation. Of course, I could ask Tesla if I can get like a special invitation there, but uh, the problem is a little bit too expensive for me just to go to US and back again. It would cost me some money and I also, you know, we have to take... Uh, that Dolly has to be here and uh, wife has to go with me. So Yes, if I was a rich bastard, I would do it, but as of today, nah. But I will still do... I want to go to the, the Tesla semi-truck unveiling. Yeah. But I guess that's it for now, so see you guys in a couple of days.